Uh, hello, this is Maltes and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to move Vertex in Resident Evil Remake so we first need our that file so we open with Scrubber and our ISO file <coughs> In this case I will extract um, PL0B, that is GL, with her Resident Evil 3 clothes. And this is important, uh, neither the name nor the, <coughs> the path uh, have to have any space in the name. <coughs> so once it is extract, uh, we open our program and open the file there right uh, once it is open uh, we can see here the models um, the models that the, that file has so I will extract this first very first one that is the body so I will export it and I will call it resident evil now open 3D Max, file, import, and this is important. We import it uh, with single uh, group. Uh, if we import it uh, with a multiple group, the, uh, the program will create uh, more vertex and that won't work. So single. So here we can see the model and now we edit, edit it uh, taking into account that we can't add mod vertex neither neither add neither add nor delete so in this I will do anything fast I will just remove all her accessories Hey, come on. Oh God. Sorry. So this is the way I delete or take off or the accessories from a um, character. I just scale it and I try to make them uh, invisible because you know we can uh, delete them because the vertex will be less so so n once we have that edit our model we select and export it uh, vertex uh, here we have to uncheck uh, texture coordinates normals because because just because <laughs> so now we go and open our ob obj file with a uh, um, not not notebook so we have to delete this from person uh, from sharp to sharp where the B begins the very first B and we have to delete the faces here so 
so our file will en end up uh, being only the vertex so we save it and we return to my program and here we repla replace the vertex vertex replaced so um, now we repack it and we replace it and um, it has to look something like this <laughs>